ta tốt What's up everybody? My name is Reggie Cox and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Primus 2.0. We're looking at my car behind me. As you can see there are a lot of sections on the hood. This car is a driving test car. It's called the LTV or the Lava Cosmetica Testing Vehicle or Left Transportation Vehicle. My baby beautiful son. I'm going to show you the differences what you knew from Primus version 1 to Primus version 2. Let's move into the data. So first of all, I have to apologize a little bit for the surrounding sounds, but we are at the factory where our, literally Victor is standing literally behind a production line. <laughs> Forklifts are driving back and forth, but anyway, this is how we test because it's not supposed to be beautiful. We're here to test the performance of the product itself. So every single thing that you know about Primus will stay the same. It will stay alkaline, it will stay non-caustic, it's still for the ceramic, it's perfectly inherent on any single surface, it still has the VDAA certification, but now we come to the part where we improve the product. So if you take the product inside of the foam gun, we got water running through the foam gun, just like this. It's picking up product from here and the water is ejecting from here, the solution by itself. We used to recommend a dilution of one to three to one to four, depending on the end dilution. That has changed. One to five for winter and one to 10 inside of the foam gun for normal weekly washing, normal dirt and contamination. Now we added because many people ask me, could you make Prima stronger? Now, if we improve the strength, we might lose safety and we might lose the VDA certification. So to adapt to what you think or what you want, this product is now also very suitable for the preparation of the polishing sequence. It can be removed to the sequence when you are finished with polishing and in the preparation. So with the preparation, I mean if you have a very special car that you are not allowed to take any risks, but you still want to pre-wash, this is your solution. There we go. Let's make that one to 10 dilution. We put it on the side as well to keep you remembering so you don't have to calculate anymore. There we go. You see, we think about you. We think, we know how much this costs. This is not cheap, foaming is not cheap. So this became half as cheap as it did before. Now you remember when I always say this favorite phrase of mine, when I say there's no such thing as too much foam. Well, there is. If you make a blanket foam that is too thick, it will drop down like a blanket, reducing the tremendous amount of working time it needs to become very successful. Foam and spray in detergent power is the same. However, foam has air in it, so the dwelling time is longer. A spray is direct and foam is longer. So I want a curtain of foam. I don't want a blanket anymore, I want a curtain. I want something that's gonna slowly drop down to the surface, maximizing the dwelling time and performance and cleaning. That's what we're looking for. Let's see how that looks like in practice. Okay, people, I have to add something that is uh, very important for the context of this video. My car right now has 29 different combinations or singular stage one standalone ceramics on top. And as you can see, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this kind of a type of foam. It's not thick. It's demonstrational purposes only, people. Calm down. I would normally never touch my other car, but this is demonstrational purposes only. It's very thin, it's not very thick. It's maybe, I said 0.4, 0.5 millimeters. But this time, it gets the dwelling it needs. Hey, you imagine if it's too thick, it will drop down in one pass, reducing the amount of cleaning power. This needs dwelling. It's more concentrated, so you have more cleaning power. You can see in the video, I'm blasting nonstop just to try to get the ceramic to touch, but as you can see, we are going into a new direction with ceramic. We are going to break the ceramic world as we know it today. But that's for in the future. Can't tell too much, Marco will kill me. It's 
Freaking two-year-old HPC, still going like it's done yesterday. It's amazing, unreal. Now, in some cases, when I'm compounding a car and I'm creating so much dust or debris or anything that's flying around the car, it might take longer for me to take a microfiber lubrifica and remove all that dust, or I'm taking the car back outside to wash it again, to make sure that all the residue of the polish is gone. And because it has alkaline power, it will help you remove those polish residues and remove that dust from the polishing sequence. That's already number two. So it's not only only for the ceramic coating maintenance, but it's now also suitable to use inside of the polishing operations before and after the polishing operation. Now we move to point number three. Now this point is my favorite one. I found out as I'm using Primus 90% of the time also in the preparation of polishing that if a car is unprotected and I've done a very powerful one, so one to 10 in a spray bottle lower sides, cover it with an end dilution of one to 60 my foam gun, I rinse off, I still have that smear layer of dirt that's still on the surface. Especially when you have an unprotected car or a car that has not been treated at all, this what we call, might be called traffic film, is then going to inherit the performance of Purifica. Because if that traffic film is still there and I'm going to put Purifica on, it's not going to take off that what I want to take off. It's going to intertwine with that layer that's still on the surface. So the pre-wash will stay the same. I will still do the one to 10 with the one to 60 and the lotion on top. But now I'm going to make an alkaline bucket shampoo. The dilution you want to use is one to 100. And that is then your alkaline hand wash shampoo. I mean, can it get any more innovative than that? Same capabilities, same safety, but now you have the power to remove that slayer layer, that small layer of traffic film before you move on to the second step, in this case, Purifica. Now you would say, okay, Reggie, but you're using a pre-wash, so there's no lubrification in there. That's something we added as well. So when I was in Canada, I made sure that anybody there made the feel of the lubrification that we put inside of Primus 2.0. And everybody could confirm that the actual lubrification was there, that there was a nice lubrification that helps you glide, reduce surface tension, reducing the chance of getting scratches. And this is my favorite part so far, because like I said, I use this 90% of the time to prepare my cars. I do mostly supercars and stuff like that. So it's very important not to take any risks and especially want to get rid of that traffic film. A one to 100 alkaline bucket wash shampoo is absolutely fantastic. 10 liters in air, about 100 milliliters of product. 10 caps, one cap is 10 milliliters. It's an Italian product, ladies and gentlemen. It only works when you make the cappuccino. Two instances where you want to use Alkaline Bucket Wash Primus 2.0. One, if you see after the pre-wash, there is still traffic film. Second, when you're using it after your polishing operation. This will take off the oils because it's alkaline and will give you a bare result to move on to your degreasing for the coating sequence. I know this is a video you know this car is a little bit protected, but I just, I'm going to try together with Victor to get that lubrification action in the picture. <laughs> oh. Ah, that's in, in, that did, did, I know it's protected, but still, it's the shampoo helps a lot, you know? And it's just the same like a normal with Semper. You rinse in between, you take the two bucket method or the Komodo method where the bucket is already in there. And you just wash and you rinse. Childlike. Ease of application. I love it. This concludes the video about Primus 2.0. Stay tuned because more products in a new development area are coming out very soon. And very shortly, I'm gonna show you some products that can do new things that you already existing knowledge. My name is Reggie Cox, see you next time. Labo, Labo Cosmetica.